plaintiff, Rokesha Jones, says the defendant is her mother. And growing up, she was a strict disciplinarian when she was around. Rokesha is suing because she claims after a falling out, her mother killed her dog. Defendant Yvette Oswebu and her nephew Rufus Jefferson say after Rokesha attempted to file a restraining order against Yvette, she had Yvette arrested and thrown in jail three different times. Yvette is countersuing for lost wages and emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. All right, Your Honor, to give you a little background on my mother and my cousin. My cousin is really referred to as my brother because we were raised by my grandmother, um, which is my mom's mother. Um, at the time, my mom was in the military, in and out, and she would pop up every now and then and be more of a disciplinary. She was in the military. Correct. And she'd pop up on you guys, issue a little more, discipline. There you go. There That's you go. Right. Did she make you march in line or stand oh, like they do the military the, sergeants do oh, and get in your face? I do recall her going upside his head and my other brother head with a 380. I do recall that. And I ran out, ended up in foster home and things like that. Um, That's a lie. And she no, never bust in the head with a 380? No. She never pistol whooped you? No. Yes, she did. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. She did. I wouldn't make that, that up. up. I did not. So you say it so slow. Thank you, Your Honor. Sir. Now you're grinning and laughing. No, sir. No, sir. No, I knew what I was talking about. I can tell a pistol whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. So my, 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 my brother, I recall one time when I turned 18, I finally got a chance to get my own apartment. And he was still living with my grandmother. And one morning I got up and went to my grandmother's house because I had a truck parked in my grandmother's backyard and I was getting ready to sell it. So I go to the back and I'm cleaning out my truck and all of a sudden I hear some pow, 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 pow. I'm like, what is that? I know they're not shooting. So I get out the, I'm young and stupid, but I shouldn't have did that. But I get out the truck and I go around to the front. He comes around the house and grabs me and uses me as a human shield. And really? I get hit in the top of my head by a bullet. I got, That's a lie, Your Honor. She's I, never your, been your shot. Your Honor, yeah. I would not make that Hold up. Hold on. What do you mean then, yeah? So no, because they were shooting in the front, everybody else running, instead of her, then they... Who was shooting? Some guys. And so everybody running... In the running, neighborhood? Yeah, in the neighborhood. What neighborhood you all live in? East St. Louis. St. Louis. So instead of her, everybody taking cover, she's trying to look around the house and see who getting shot. So they couldn't... We shoot... We, it's a shootout. So they come around the back of the house and shoot out from the backside. And that's where she was at. Instead of her going in the house, and I don't know if glass hit her head or what it was, but she was bleeding. I ain't had nothing to do with that. I'm not going to make fun of this. Let me hear from you all. This, this started about three months ago uh, where my daughter woke up and uh, decided she has been abused all her life and went to the court and obtain a, well, she attempted to obtain a restraining order. They told her, get out of here. <laughs> Did you ask her about what she believed and what she thought? You, you know what? When she what, said, I've been abused, what type of abuse well, first? What did well, she allege? She never, she never told me she was abused. She went to the court uh -huh. and obtained a restraint, to okay. obtain a restraining order. Do you have any they, idea why she did that? Because she quick claim deeded my home back in 2015. So her to plan- whom? To herself? To herself. Mm -hmm. I was unaware that she had done this until she put her plan in motion. This evidently was her plan all along. She had to get rid right. of me. She called the right. police and had them to arrest me. I have been arrested three times, three times and put in jail by what, my daughter. Same, alleging what? that I was trespassing. Ma'am, you tell me about this okay, restraining thank order. thank you, Your Honor. Let's go there first. I let, I let my mother so I hope you didn't do this I promise just you. to I keep her from uh, uh, dealing with this issue. I have the copy of the restraining order, and what I was asking for was help 
with counseling or anything for the verbal abuse that my mom was causing in my you house. You have the restraining my, order there? I did. And have, what year was that? This was, this was just um, five months ago. And how did you determine or how did you find out that she had quit claim when, the deed. When they released me uh-huh. from jail, I went to the recorder of deed to get my deed to show them that this is my house. How how are you guys going to arrest me and charge me with trespassing at my own house? Ma'am, did you uh, do what she's talking about with the deed? Your Honor, this is my house. I bought this house in 2014. Oh. I have... Was it ever in her name? Never in her name. She's also... She's also... She's using the death of the dog as a pawn to, it created a lot of And that's what you're suing for, the death of a dog, right? That's right. right. That's All how right. she got but the restraining can... order. Tell me about the dog you're suing for. Okay, what happened was, when I filed a restraining order, it was because we was having issues in my home. She was yelling and screaming at me in front of my son. I have a 17-year-old son that I'm raising by myself. And she, she was upset about the family reunion, some money issues. She's a big gambler. I left my home, went to work, did 16 hours, three days in a row. It was my son's first day of school. I sent him to my house to get my son so we can take him to get his uh, things for school. When he went to my house, he called me and he, she was yelling again in the background, tell this B to come get this dog. I don't care if this dog get thrown on the side of the road and killed and I'm taking her house from her. He can attest to everything she was saying. So I called the police and asked the police to go out to my house because she was trying to throw my dog out. So what are you police... about to show me? You have a police report yes, that I states do. that? The states that you called them? Let's there's see it, a, please. There's, there's a narrative when I called them All right. and had them come out. All right. And the very next day, <clears throat> I get a call that my dog has been ran over and killed. Here's the police report. This report. What were you told happened? I have not spoken to them in five months. Ma'am, let me hear from you. And sir, what do you all want to tell uh, me about this? Your dog? Honor, uh, this is this is how she obtained the emergency restraining order, and they came arrest and came out and arrested me because she utilized the dog name is Pimp. As she said, she was gone. She she went and got a restraining order and left the home. So she. Just 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 follow this, Your Honor. She has this young man to come and pick up my grandson to take him to get a haircut. Drops my grandson back off and I tell him, I said, where is Keisha? I said, where is she at? I said, here, the dog is in the cage. I got, I'm, I'm taking care of the dog. She's gonna make me take care of Pimp, which was okay, but <laughs> You, you afraid of me? I, I threatened to kill the dog and yet you would leave your son with me? And she had told my grandson, she changed the locks on the, the house. Tell on the, what happened to the dog. Okay, the, the dog, mm-hmm. I had the dog mm-hmm. and we, she know the dog loved me more than anybody. Mm-hmm. It was like all of our dog. Mm-hmm. We bought the dog for $60 from a crackhead. Mm-hmm. That is so, a total but, lie. But, but you can tell him he wasn't no... What happened to the dog, sir? What happened to the dog? I what happened to the dog? I understand. What happened to the dog? I understand. Million dollar so, dog. What happened with so the I'm, dog? I'm walking the dog. I'm walking the dog. The dog, it was a, it's a little dog. The dog ran out in the street. A white SUV come hit the dog. I called the police on the SUV. It shows it in the statement. The police is saying, hey, we can't sit here all night. And I'm like, I'm not going to leave my dog here to die. So they tell me about this emergency, emergency animal hospital. So I pick the dog up and take him to the emergency animal hospital. I call Rokisha and I call Yvette. I'm blowing their phone up. I'm blowing their phone up. Nobody is answering the phone. And it's in the police report. The police tried to call them. I leave to try to go knock on their door to get somebody to tell me because they saying, hey, we could, the dog had broke legs. They saying it'll be like $5,000 to fix it. So I'm saying, I don't have that type of money. So let me, so when I finally get to a resident, I call and they tell me they euthanized the dog. And so now me and her go up there and we raising hell with them like, why did y'all kill our dog? It wasn't no life threatening. So she's really suing the wrong people and, and they talked to her on the phone tonight. They talked to her and told her the dog was in the hospital. So I have a report. Why don't you read the part where it says you were uh, discussing getting the dog some help? Advised yeah, Justin advised me that he was watching the dog for his sister. 
Okay, uh, Jefferson advised her her mother was yeah. having issues. Jefferson stated Jones has been staying in a hotel with her mother. Jefferson stated he just watching the dog to help Jones out. Jefferson stated the dog usually stays right next to him, so he didn't put a leash on him. Veronica, can I give you the... I spoke with Jones over the phone. Jones stated she believes her mom is the one who hit Pimp. This is you and your mom. This uh-huh. y'all mess. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't believe this yes. man. Uh, the dog was with him, and he admits to that, and I believe what he said in the description he gave. And All this other would, stuff is nothing but her. a bunch of mess. What right. I do believe, however, sir, and unfortunately so, uh, you were negligent. You're negligent. You're not supposed to have a dog walking with you without a leash. So your negligence caused this loss, caused her emotional distress. Your counterclaim, 5000 How does she owe you all? Uh, she was able to obtain this restraining order by going telling the court that I killed the dog. So, of course, the judge that heard this case was like, oh, we got to give her a restraining order. Didn't you all have other restraining orders? She Did has you file filed restraining six, orders against her? Six the of first How one. many? I, I don't remember. How, how many? Did it. you file against her? One. Uh, can, I, she's, can I show you the one she filed against me? Saying there's most, more than one. Saying but what? I have several that she has. That I'm on You mail. have more than one. I, in the, you I'm have on, something showing that she filed more than one. Yes, I'm I do. I'm not going to deal with this mother-daughter mess much longer. Yes, this is about the dog. Here you go. Show me more than one. There's she one. says Hold only on. one. I got several. You I got show several. me more than one that okay. she filed against you, and her case is over. Give me one more. Okay. Ma'am, is she going to show me one more? Now your memory come back to you. There you go. Only there you go. Matter of fact, what's this mission? There you go, Your Honor. Show me one that she says go. is a second one. There you go. And she's saying that the police beat, beat her. There you go. I had the police beat her for being in my house. The window had not been, been broken, but forced open by Jones. Yes, it was. 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 Yes, I'm going to grant you your judgment you. for emotional distress. He was negligent in uh, walking your dog without a leash. And that was the cause of the accident. With regard to all this other nonsense, your claim is dismissed for emotional distress because of the restraining orders and the police visit and you all don't get your along. Honor. 5000 for you, ma'am, Thank for, you. The, you, for the dog. Have a well, good day. Get out of my house. Yeah, that's what you get. Holy Holy Once the judge on the chancery case rules, she'll have $5,000 to go get her an apartment. Even though I won the case, I'm still upset over the fact that she continues to lie about my house being hers. Um, It's just been an ongoing thing, like I said, for five months. And with the continued scheming, lying, manipulating, I I just, I, I can't handle it no more.